Today, I'll help you fix the ERR empty response error in Chrome. There can be many different reasons for this error, but basically, your browser is not being able to communicate properly with your computer. And that's why you can't see the site that you wanted to. Now, I'll show you the three main types of fixes that work for 99% people. Number one, Chrome fixes. The first step is to clear your browser's cache and disable extensions. Why? Well, every time you visit a website, your browser stores that web page's information in your computer so that the next time you visit it, the page loads faster. Sometimes, this saved information on your computer might be outdated or corrupted and show you this error. So clearing the cache can help solve this problem. Let's see how to do that. In Google Chrome, you can go to the right-hand corner and click on these three vertical dots. Then click on More Tools, then Clear Browsing Data. In the panel that opens, make sure all of this is selected and select the Clear Data button. Next, go to your extensions and disable all your extensions because one of them could have been corrupted as well. Okay, now before we try the next fix, this is not an ad, but since you do work with websites, I have something really cool to share with you. Just five seconds. Don't skip it, don't, don't skip it. I built a free speed plugin where you can paste your URL and get 90% speed scores and you can try it here. Number two, network fixes. There's another fix that works quite often, which is to flush the DNS cache of your computer. Basically, every time you visit a website, your computer checks its DNS record, almost like a dictionary to confirm the IP address of that site. Sometimes this dictionary or your DNS cache can become outdated. So you might see this error. So you need to flush your DNS cache. So to do that, go to the start menu, type command and press enter. Once the command bar prompt is open, enter this command. You can also go in the description and copy paste it from there. Then run this and check if the error is gone. You can also change your DNS server and use Google's public DNS server because that often also helps solve this error. So go to network and internet settings, select network and sharing center and change adapter settings. Click your connection and select properties. Double click internet protocol version four Select to use the following DNS server addresses. Under the preferred DNS server, enter 8888. Then under the alternate DNS server, enter 8844. Click OK to confirm changes. Next, sometimes your firewall might be blocking some websites by mistake. So let's see how to disable the firewall. In Windows, click Start and go to Settings. Under Update and Security, select Windows Security. Then select Firewall and network protection. Select your network profile, domain, private or public network. Switch the Microsoft Defender firewall to off. Okay, okay, if the error still hasn't gone, I know it's frustrating, but we've gotten some progress here. We now know this isn't due to an issue in Chrome or your network. So let's now try some fixes on your computer. System fixes. These fixes require you to restart the computer itself after you've done them. So watch all of them first then try them one by one later on. We should try resetting our IP address because that could also fix this. So open the command prompt, right click and select run as administrator. Then go here and type IP config slash release, then click enter. Once the prompt returns, type IP config slash renew and click enter again. Now you can restart the computer to see if the error is gone. The last fix is to reset the Winsock catalog. So you can go to Windows search bar, type command prompt and right click on it. Choose run as administrator. Once the command prompt window opens, enter the following command. You'll also find it in the description below. So you can just copy paste it from there. Then hit enter. And after that, reset the Windows socket interface by typing the following command. Then click enter once more. And now you can restart the computer to check if the error is gone. Welcome to the giveaway section. This is a small gift since you watched till the end. So check the link in description for a flat 20% discount on the best WordPress security plugin, which is Malcare. In just $6, you'll get unlimited malware removals and seven layers of security to keep your site protected. So link in description, do check it out.